So kids, today, let's play a little game. I'm going to show you a picture, and then I'm going to get you to guess what you think is this picture, and then I'm going to show you what it actually is, all right? So here's picture number one. All right, what do you think it is? I'll give you another three seconds to guess, all right? Here's what it actually reveals. Did you get it? All right, let's try a different one. Ready? Here's picture number two. Final guesses. All right, here's what it is. We're going to try one more, okay? Here we go. Picture number three. All right, locking your guess in three, two, one. Here's what it is. All right, how many of you got three out of three? Raise your hand. If you did, uh, congratulations. You did a great job in being able to figure out what those pictures actually were trying to show you. And that's what our message is today. If you look at the rest of the, of the service today, it's talking about this idea of Jesus fulfilling the law. And a lot of times when we think of laws, we think of rules, right? We think of things that you do, things that you don't do. One of the most famous uh, set of laws is considered the Ten Commandments, right? This is from Exodus chapter 20, and you can read this later on. And a lot of times we look at this, and it looks like a rules, a, a list of rules, right? Things that you do, things that you don't do. And yet, one of the things that God realized was is that it's not just about what you do and what you don't do. Really, the life that we see around us is not completely accurate. It's not actually completely full. There's actually a life that God intended that actually he wants us to live, that we don't fully realize yet. And really, one of the things that, when, especially when the Israelites got the Ten Commandments and they got the rest of the laws, they were actually meant to be pictures. They were actually meant to be almost like object lessons, things that were to reveal what God actually meant life to be like. And so that's a challenge to you. Maybe you want to ask an adult who you trust later on, you know, when you look at the Ten Commandments, take that first. What are some of the images? What exactly is God trying to reveal through that law? So it's not just what you do and what you don't do. It's actually, there's a deeper image. There's a deeper understanding that God wants you to, to, to see. Because through that, he actually reveals how this life works. What it's, what it's meant to do. So later on, I encourage you, take a look at those Ten Commandments or maybe some other parts of the Bible and see what is the picture that God wants to reveal to you. What's the image that when you start seeing it, it actually gives us a better idea of this life that God intends us to live.